That's enough. Wanna knock out cholesterol? Well, it's time to take off the gloves. Because a fistful of these can help lower your cholesterol level. No charring, because charring is carcinogenic. Then when you put the scallop in, try not to move it, because we want it to develop a wonderful brown surface. Well, it's time to burn some calories and boost my metabolism. See, in this chili pepper, especially in the ribs inside, there's an ingredient called capsaicin that ramps up your metabolism and helps you lose weight because your body has to burn calories to generate the heat. Capsaicin is also what makes hot peppers hot. You place the pear back in the dish. Now, pears are wonderful, and the whole grains in granola give it a roundness and fillingness that a lot of desserts don't have. In fact, this dessert actually has four grams of fiber per serving. There are all kinds of berries. Strawberries, raspberries, chocolate berries. But today, when you think berries, think black and blue. Chef MD helps you become healthier mm -hmm. with what you eat. Cancer. Broccoli is mm -hmm. a cruciferous vegetable. Okay. It helps disable cancer cells in your liver. Okay. Like all cruciferous vegetables, this is a daikon, a white radish, it does the same thing. Uh -huh. Arugula, the same thing. All right, let's move down to the constipation <laughs> category. This is important. Oh, nothing. <laughs> constipation, a big problem. If you have yeah. bowel movement less than three times a week, you're constipated. Okay. But my steel cut, <laughs> Walnuts. <laughs> Here's our own Chef MD, Dr. John LaPuma, with more. Thanks, Lisa. You mentioned just one piece of information from the Nurses Health Study, a study that's been incredibly important to physicians over the years. Cancer, very complicated genes, something as simple as food can't make a difference, but you say. I say culinary medicine is the art of cooking blended with the science of medicine. Doctor, it's so good to see you. Yeah, what a pleasure. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. Nobody leaves medicine to get to be a chef. How come you did it? Oh, it was, it was in my, my genes. Was Actually, my, uh, my patients encouraged me to. Right. Next, you put in the tomatillo. All right. And I'll show you how to slice one. Here's a little green. It's a little green tomato. Is that directly related to the tomato? You it's, said it is related or not it's, related? It's in the like same a family. Cousin? It's a distant cousin. Okay, good to know. And it's tart. It makes this guacamole oh, spicy in your mouth and yet lean. It's really a I'm wonderful. I'm all about spicy and lean. I got it. So I kind of want to describe myself that way, spicy and lean. It had never occurred to me. <laughs> never occurred to me. You can learn, without having to go to medical school or to cooking school, how to use healthy recipes to be some of your best medicine. That these ideas, the ideas I've just given you, are not about me, but they're about you, about your ability to ask the right questions, to find the right tools, to find the right recipes and the right people to make yourself better with what you eat. Thanks very much.